Hello everyone, it's Angel from the Abernathy's Go Green. Today we are gonna go ahead and continue on with our skincare face-off series where every Friday I post a video on each of our skincare step starting with oil cleansers and then finishing off at the end of March with face oils and balms. Today we are on part 4 where I will talk about some face mists and toners what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them. Uh, we'll talk about ingredient, price points, and application, and all that jazz. To start off, I would like to let you know, of course, that I have oily combination skin type. It tends to be a little bit on the dry side during the winter, especially on my cheeks. And I have really oily T-zones, no matter what season we're in. I feel like I'm just always oily there. So let's go ahead and get started. I have seven products here in front of me and I usually like to put this in some kind of an order but these are all so different other than I did notice that the first three that I'm going to show you came from Pettivore boxes and then the next two are from Perlesque and then the last two I kind of just discovered on my own based on other people's reviews. The first product that I have here is by Little Barn Apothecary. This is their Aloe and Rose Water Balancing Mist. I did get this in a Pettivore box, so I have this little one ounce bottle here, but this is available for purchase on the Pettivore website. They have a two ounce bottle, so twice as much as this, for $16, and then the four ounce full size bottle is in a glass bottle it looks like, and it's $32. And they say that this is a supercharged, replenishing, and nourishing facial mist with added benefits of natural botanicals. Rose, Aloe, Hibiscus, and Witch Hazel. This unique combination provides the skin with antioxidant protection, known widely to assist in supporting the skin's own collagen production. And they say here that you can spray as much as you like all over your face, neck, and body. It can be used anytime, perfect as a makeup setter and refresher throughout the day. A multitasker can be used as a post-sun spray for soothing and healing. And as far as the ingredients go, it's very short and very simple. It has aloe leaf juice, rose water, witch hazel distillate, radish root ferment filtrate as a preservative, and then they also have hibiscus. This is totally empty, but the liquid in here is like a light pink color, I'm sure from the hibiscus. If you've had hibiscus tea, whenever you make that tea, it turns into like this beautiful hot pink color. So I'm sure that the pink that we get from this is from the hibiscus. So as far as my experience with this, I didn't find this to be ultra hydrating, nor was it drying either. This just really reminds me of that toner, the pink toner bottle that I like to make um, and I pour uh, George's aloe and whatever hydrosol I have floating around. It's usually rose water or right now I have Melissa and Helichrysum hydrosols that I like to mix in there. So I feel like this was just okay. And for $32 for a four, four ounce of something that was just okay, I did not repurchase this. Obviously, I still have the sample and I don't think I ever will. And then the next product that I have here is the Moon on a Rose Hydrating Rose Toner. This is just a little tiny baby bottle. It has 0.34 ounces or 10 mLs. And they're showing the picture of this on the Pettivore website, but it's not giving me a price, so I'm not sure if they sell this tiny bottle. But the full size of this is in a 3.38 ounce glass bottle and it sells for $70. And they say that the Honor Rose Hydrating Rose Toner offers an essential step to balance the skin's pH after cleansing. Bulgarian rose water instantly soothes even the most sensitive skin while hyaluronic acid firms and provides long-lasting hydration. Willow bark extracts contains natural salicylic acid to exfoliate dead cells for a healthy glow and prepares the skin to receive nutrients. Goji berry extract helps reduce free radical damage and provides anti-aging benefits. Combination of rose, jasmine, daisy extract recreates the velvety sensations of petals on your skin. They also say that this toner has a pH range of 4.5 to 5 which is perfect for a toner because our skin likes to be a little bit more on the acidic side. And they say that after cleansing the, with the Aqvi Purifying Cleanser Pat Skin Dry Spray Toner on a cotton pad and generously sweep over the entire face, gently exfoliating skin. As far as the ingredients on this, this has rose water, aloe leaf, prickly pear, 
stem cells. It has the goji berry fruit extract, hyaluronic acid, willow bark, um, rose flower extract, jasmine flower extract, daisy flower extract, xanthan gum, glycerin, dehydroatic acid, benzyl alcohol, maltodextrin, and deionized water. So I really wanted to love this because I have heard so many positive reviews on especially the Aqvi purifying cleanser and I almost bought the Aqvi purifying cleanser and this, the full size of it, because of all the positive reviews that I've heard about both of them. And then I saw that this was coming in a pedibore box, so I just kind of held off and I was glad to have received a sample size of this first because this did not react very well on my skin at all. This, I found, was very drying for my skin. And then just looking over the ingredients, toners that dry out my skin, some of the similarities in the ingredients is the willow bark extract I find to be drying for my skin. I think it's too astringent. And then it has the benzyl alcohol, which is a very drying alcohol, and my skin didn't like it. So I was glad to have tried the travel size of this first before, like I said, really wanting to splurge on the full size of this. And then the next product that I have here is the Ursa Major 4-in-1 Essential Face Tonic. And I misspoke earlier, I said the first three products that I was going to show you is from Pettivore Box. But I actually got this through their sample kit that you can get in the Ursa Major website. That sample kit comes with four or five of their products. And I've done a review of everything that comes in that box. I will link it here if you're interested in checking it out. 4-in-1 Essential Tonic. They say it cleanses, exfoliates soothes and hydrates the skin, leaving it feeling refreshed, firm, and alive. If used daily, it will deliver clearer, brighter, calming, calmer looking skin. This clean tonic removes oil and grime without stripping skin of moisture. It exfoliates dead skin, brightens and clarifies with the AHA and BHA complex. It soothes and hydrates the skin without leaving a shiny or sticky residue. It has quite an extensive ingredients list but some that jump out to me are the first ingredient is the aloe leaf juice followed by water. It has witch hazel and willow bark. It is preserved with the radish root ferment filtrate. It has sodium hyaluronate and glycerin. It has sugarcane extract as a source of alpha hydroxy acid. It also has lemon, orange, apple fruit extract to help with that exfoliation. Again, it does have green tea leaf extract as a source of antioxidants, and then it has fir, lavender, rosemary, geranium, and frankincense essential oils, and then the last ingredient is denatured alcohol. <laughs> so this one is another one that was way too drying for my skin. Knowing what I know now though, I feel like if I just sprayed this onto a cotton round and focused it on my T-zone, where I tend to get a little bit more congestion because I have oily skin there all the time, I think I would have liked this better and just kind of avoided my cheek area. So that's what I've started doing with more of my more astringent toners. I have another one that I'm testing out, but I didn't want to include it in this because I haven't been using it for very long, so I don't feel like I can give you a very accurate review on that. I think I would suggest this more for individuals with just really, really oily skin and no issues with dryness, but this personally is not for me. Okay, moving on to our fourth product here. I have the Live Botanical Fleur de Terre Lavender and Violet Calming Elixir. That's what the packaging looks like. Very beautiful. But this one is a 50ml spray bottle. I did get this through the Perlesque subscription box. They don't sell this size on their website. They do have a 100ml, so twice as much as this one, for $34, which I think is Again, a fair price. Live Botanical is one of those kind of more artisanal skincare, if you will, in that they do their own in-house blends of skincare goodies. This one, they say, is a carefully selected house-infused extracts using whole organic herbs to refresh irritated and tired skin. It's suitable for most skin types, including the very sensitive. Wonderful for sun-parched or wind-blown skin to soothe inflammation. The scent is herbal and citrus, slightly reminiscent of lavender lemonade. It does dissipate quickly, no additional essential oils were added, and the scent is derived purely from hydrosols and herbal infusions. And then it also has very short ingredients. It has lavender hydrosol, aloe juice, lemon verbena, hydrosol, vegetable glycerin, it has violet extract, hibiscus, jasmine, ginkgo biloba, and ladies mantle. 
and then it's also preserved with the lactobacillus ferment. So as far as my experience with this, they talk about the scent as being reminiscent of lavender lemonade. And I don't get that at all. It smells like pine salt to me. A very strong pine salty scent. With a mix of wet feet. <laughs> and I really hate saying that. But that's what I get from it. I've watched two other YouTubers that absolutely love this and they say that they get that lavender lemonade, but I don't. It smells like very strong pine salt. So we all have different noses and that's really what I'm picking up. And every time that I sprayed this to my face, I feel like it's way too acidic. It kind of kind of just stung my skin. I started thinking like maybe my skin is just too sensitive, it's going through something. But it even says here that it's suitable for most skin types, including very sensitive. But I really didn't like this either. I didn't find that it was hydrating enough. I did get two other products from them that came with this in the pearlesque box. And I love, love, love them. Um, one of them is the resurfacing, overnight resurfacing oil. And I absolutely love that. And also the honey exfoliating mask that I absolutely love also. I know I've done a review of that here on my channel. And they are like 100% repurchases. But the toner did not work for me. And I'm just kind of very sad about that. So that's like four toners that we've gone through and I've not liked any of them really. But rest assured that the rest of these, the final three that I have here, my skin did like. So let's go ahead and start with this Modicum skincare. I also got this in a pearlesque box. Um, I did an unboxing and kind of like a first impression review of this. This is the Modicum skincare Birch Tree Water Spritz. This is the full size that they sell on their website. It is one ounce. And it's $22 for this one ounce bottle. They say that it's not just another spritz. It will replenish your skin cells with essential nutrients, promote cellular regeneration, and restore your skin's vitality. Birch water and hyaluronic acid provides continual hydration. MSM, an organic form of sulfur, promotes the production of collagen and elastin. Antioxidant powerhouse astaxanthin helps protect the skin against UV exposure blue light, and environmental pollution. And then as far as the ingredients, it has rose water, birch sap, aloe vera leaf juice, water, the MSM, sodium hyaluronate, alang alang, flower distillate, and then this long word that I'm gonna put here, but that is the word I found out for the astaxanthin. It has seawater, phenethyl alcohol, and carboxyhydroxamic acid as a preservative, and then it also has glycerin as the last ingredient. This I did very much enjoy. I have a little bit left and it gives you the finest mist. I don't know if you saw that. And it is just so beautiful. I think it is very hydrating. It does not sting my skin. It's very calming. It has the beautiful scent of rose. Yeah, I just really like this. I wish it was not $22 for one ounce bottle, but I really enjoyed this and most likely will repurchase because it is so nice and my skin really liked it. And then the next product that I have here is by Jordan Samuel. This is Hydrate the Mist. This is the full size and this is supposed to be a twist on the best-selling Hydrate Facial Serum which I also have the full size of and absolutely love. This daily hydration mist will keep your cells bathed in humectants all day long. Keep this mist handy backstage at the office on flights or anywhere your skin needs a little pick-me-up. They say that it can be used AM or PM, mist the skin thoroughly after cleansing. It can be used throughout the day, even over makeup, to hydrate and give you the Jordan Samuel Glow. And this is getting reformulated, so I am reviewing the old formulation, um, just in case... Well, I don't know why. <laughs> because I really liked it. They say that it is... It will be back soon. They are re-releasing a newly formulated version of this. In April sometime so very soon oh early March we are currently out of stock but the mist will be back and better than ever in early March so this is March 8th so I'm sure it'll be out soon right um, you can sign up for emails and we'll let you know when it's here but yeah this is the old formulation um, I didn't tell you the price it's not on the website it's oh my gosh I forget how much I paid for this but I didn't think that it was bad. Ingredients that they have on the website, I feel like it's, well, I know it's gonna be the ingredients that they'll have on the new formulation. 
because it is completely different from the bottle that I have here. It has um, organic hibiscus hydrosol, deionized water, sodium carrageenan, hyaluronic acid, it has cucumber extract, pomegranate extract, radish root ferment filtrate, it has passion flower extract, tamarind extract, sea salt, and organic glycerin. Whenever I first got this, I sprayed it onto my face and it just felt like water. I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be another one of those face mists that just feels like water and will not do anything to hydrate my skin at all whatsoever, but was I ever wrong. This is like one of the best face mists I have ever used. It is very hydrating despite it being feeling very light on the skin. It doesn't have any kind of like a it doesn't leave like a sticky film on the skin. It just feels like water like I said, but it is very hydrating. I got this November 16th last year and I've been using it non-stop. That's why I have just a little bit left here. This would be completely empty, but I purposely stopped using it so I can show you guys what's inside because I feel like everything that I've shown you so far has been an empty. Um, so I wanted to show you what the little liquid looks like. So they're reformulating this so that it will mist on the skin better because the this is it comes out like a very kind of, I don't want to say chunky, that's not the word, but it doesn't provide a fine mist like this one did. Um, as you saw, it's very fine and just if you spray it over your makeup, you are confident that it will not disturb it. This one I can't say the same for because I feel like you are left with droplets of water. But I really love this. I am just hoping and praying that the new formulation is just as good, if not better than this. I really like the ingredients of this and... We'll just see how the new one is. This last product that I have here is, gosh, one of my favorites. I mentioned this in my Best in Skincare 2018. I've gone through four bottles. Maybe is, is this my fifth bottle of this? This is the Mad Hippie Hydrating Nutrient Mist with Hesperidin and Sodium PCA. It's in a plastic bottle, nothing fancy. I do like their packaging, kind of whimsical with the flowers and all that stuff. So on their website, they do sell it for $19.99, but don't go there, go to Vitacost because they do sell this for $15.99 and that's where I've gotten all of my Mad Hippie products from. It's from Vitacost. But they say that this is an effervescent blend of antioxidants and hydrating essentials. It leaves the skin feeling soft and supple and ready to take on the daily stresses of modern life. They do recommend spraying the mist into the hands and then gently massaging into the skin. This product is slightly effervescent due to the many actives. It has very lengthy ingredients list but I just, I'll just read to you the ingredients that they want to highlight here. It has hesperidin, which is a plant flavonoid that has been shown to help reduce the appearance of skin discoloration. A sodium PCA, it has milk thistle, ginkgo biloba, sodium hyaluronate, so you know it's going to be very hydrating. It has vitamin C, resveratrol, green tea, so antioxidant rich. It has white pine bark extract and pomegranate seed extract. It also has life alpha lipoic acid, which is another great antioxidant. And they also have ferulic acid in here. So just a bunch of really good ingredients. The scent is kind of fresh and fruity. And I've mentioned the scent of the Mad Hippie products as kind of having like a synthetic smell to them. Um, and I find that to be true with this as well. It is, let me spray it on my hand so you can see. Um, because it's not a fine mist at all so it comes out like that so it's you don't want to spray that directly onto your face I did the first time I got it and I just of course sprayed it directly into my eyes um, but it didn't sting or anything so that was another thing that I was like wow it does not sting my eyes I just sprayed the whole spray load into my eyeballs and it didn't sting so that's what one of the things that really impressed me about it and so I just sprayed it onto my hands and just kind of patted my hands together and then press it onto the skin. If you're familiar with K-Beauty, you know how they like to do the layers of their toners, especially if you have oily skin, this is excellent. Um, but you just spray about three sprays onto your hands and press it into your skin and then let it kind of sink in and then repeat the process like seven times. They call it the seven skin method. Um, but I find that this with three skins is enough for me even in the winter and in the summer I can get away with doing just a lot of layers of this and I don't find the need to reach for an hydrating serum or even a moisturizer 
So this is how hydrating this really is. This is going to be a repurchase for me over and over again. Like I said, I this is I think my fourth or fifth bottle of this and I absolutely love it. And then if the Jordan Samuel, I'm going to pick it up, the new reformulation of this and see how it compares to this old formula. And I'll let you guys know because this is very beautiful as well. I didn't comment on the scent earlier, but it has a very like light, very natural scent. And that's what I would say about this is I like this so much better because especially if you have sensitive nose and you don't get along with the Mad Hippie scents, I think you would like the Jordan Samuel because it has a very just nice natural like botanical scent. I don't know why I keep repeating myself at how amazing this is because it's getting reformulated and hopefully, like I said, it's just as good as the old formulation. So that is going to have to complete today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Thank you guys for watching and spending a little bit of your day with me. I will see you on my next video. Bye!